Welcome back guys, thanks for tuning in, thanks for taking the time and spending a little time with me, I always appreciate that. Got a real quick video here for you man, a lot of people ask me, how exactly do you use Remote Play? Now what Remote Play is for you guys that don't know, it's allowing you to use and play your PlayStation without having the console and you're not at home, you're not connected to it. First thing you want to do man is download the app, the PS4 Remote Play app, as you can see I've already done it. And I went in here and I launched it. You're gonna definitely need to have your controller and the charging cable. And as you can see right there, that's living proof that I'm not at home. I'm connected to the Lowe's uh, Hotel Wi-Fi here in Hollywood. And once you have everything connected, you wanna hit start. Now I'm letting you guys see this, I'm just letting you see you know, how long it may take to get initially set up. A couple of tips that I have, you know, definitely at home, you know, before you leave home, and you connect your PS4, I would recommend Hardwire instead of having it be on your Wi-Fi because it's going to give you a faster connection as well as you want to make sure that you do not turn off the console. You want to leave it in rest mode. So once you launch it and play and you're done for the day or done for the moment, make sure you go back into rest mode. If it is completely turned off, you cannot, again I repeat, you cannot start the PlayStation when you're not at home if it's not in rest mode all right so once you get connected here guys you're going to see that little icon there at the bottom that basically just lets you know when you see that icon your signal may not be that strong and you may be in danger of disconnecting and then you know you could just relaunch it so what i'm doing here man is i launched mlb the show this allow you to see that and we'll wait here just a moment but yeah again man it's you know i've had great success with it as long as you have a pretty decent connection, um, to my knowledge, I believe it has to be at least, um, you know, five megabytes per second on both ends to give you the best connection or the best chance of being able to play. Um, I don't experience too much lag. You know, I've, I've even played online. You know, I've played a lot of my Madden League games via remote play. I've also even played Battlefield 1, you know, via remote play. And as far as the uh, the borders that you see there outlining the video, it's because, man, I had to use QuickTime, you know, the movie, Quick, you know, the QuickTime movie app or what have you, to record my screen to even bring you this video. So that's, you know, obviously you're not going to be able to use your Elgato or anything like that or your normal game capture because you don't have your console with you. Um, so here it is, man. I'm going to show you how I can go into full screen. And it will be the full screen on your, you know, on your computer. Like I said, don't worry about those borders. That's just because of the way I had to capture this video. But there you have it, man. You know, so you can see basically how it's running. I just did a quick CPU game, CPU versus CPU, so allow you to see a little bit of that. And there you have it. That is remote play, away from home, playing with your PlayStation, and you don't need the console with you. All right, so that's going to do it, man. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe, cut on your notifications, and I promise you, it will never hurt you to hit that like button. All right, until next time, peace.